this is John Martinez from John Sporting Goods in Everett, Washington, and today I want to talk about modifying flashers. We all know that salmon are attracted to light sources, and the three light sources that we have available to us is UV light, glow-in-the-dark light that's activated by sunlight or a flashlight or some other light source, and we also have blinking lights, uh, a new innovation in salmon fishing that's going to absolutely change your success ratio. So pay attention and see how we do it. The items that we're going to need to modify flashers are, of course we're going to need a flasher of some sort, any brand will work, and we're going to use these Protro flashing lights. The item number is FL100 and I'll give you a close-up of this in here in a little bit. There's two per package and we can screw these right to the flasher. We're going to use some red tape uh, we're going to use a thin slice of this. Uh, we all know that red attracts fish, especially salmon. We have a lot of red on the different fishing lures that we use and on the flashers. And of course we could use a, a bunch of different kinds of tape. Here's a green uh, type of tape right here. Uh, the tape also comes in in scale patterns like this. So if you want to fit a fish scale pattern on your flashers or the lures that you're using, you can do that. Or you could just use a variety of UV tapes. We all know that UV light penetrates uh, more than 100 feet in clear water and uh, this will give you a, a lot of light reflection especially when the glow part of the flasher is starting to dim a little bit at deeper depths. One of the first things we're going to install on this flasher is a piece of red tape. I've already cut it to this design right here and we're just going to kind of eyeball it right here put it right down the middle of the flasher smooth it out. So that'll be step one on modifying our flasher. Step number two in modifying our flasher is we're going to attach the light. So I'm going to drill two 3 30 second holes in my flasher right here. I'm going to mount this light right to the flasher and I'll just kind of eyeball where the holes go. And It doesn't matter whether you uh, drill the holes all the way through the flasher or partial way through and you'll see how we're going to cover up the holes on the back side here in a little bit. I need to note that when we install these blinking lights to our flashers, it's very important that you mount them with the contacts on, in the up position because the contacts, when they come in contact with water, they activate the light. If you mounted them the contact side down, it would be very hard to uh, make the light turn off after you're done fishing. These lights only last about 80 hours, so you want to maximize the amount of time you're going to get out of these lights. Now I've drilled both my two 3 32nd holes into the flasher and I've already inserted the screws. So now all we have to do is tighten the screws down and that completes this step here. There's no reason to put any glue in these holes uh, because these bolts or screws will hold just fine. Just tighten them up until the screws become tight and then you're ready to go and then we're on to the last step. Our very last step in modifying our flasher is adding more light reflection. We're going to add this UV tape to the back side of the flasher. So now we're going to have UV, we're going to have blinking light, and we're going to have glow from the glow material that's in the flasher. So we're going to have three sources of light down where we're fishing. So when you're fishing anywhere from 100 to 150 to 250 feet deep uh, for salmon, this is going to be highly visible to the salmon at all times. And the salmon are going to be attracted to your gear instead of to the guy's gear who's trolling next to you. Here's our last step in modifying our flasher. I'm going to install this UV tape that I've already pre-cut. Put it right there on the back side of this flasher. And just put it down there nice and firm. I'll give you a hint if there's any little bubbles that you get that are fairly big on the uh, on the fl on the tape that we're putting on the flasher. Just take a pin and pop the bubbles and it'll lay perfectly flat. There we go. We got our flasher completely equipped. We got our flashing light on the front and yes it sticks out a little bit. It does not affect uh, the rotation of the flasher at all. We've got our UV tape on the back. 
we've got our red stripe going up the center of the flasher and we got the complete glow that the flasher is built with this flasher and along with other colors of flashers that can be modified this is a an effective weapon for catching salmon i think if you follow my instructions i think you're going to be very pleased with the type of results you get with modifying your flashers <music>